Hello and welcome once again, J76NY here, and we are back at Operation Watchtower. Uh, if you're watching here on Twitch, uh, you've got the whole series split up over on YouTube. Uh, J76NY over there as well, there's a link somewhere here on Twitch. Uh, go ahead and check that out if you like. If you're on YouTube, uh, welcome back. I think this is episode number 91. As I sit here right now in... The Rochester region of New York State, it is negative 10 degrees outside, so it is quite cold. Not sure where it is or how much freezing ass weather you have in your area, but it's cold here. Kind of curious where you guys are from, so I've head down to the comments and let me know, give a shout out to your, uh, your location. Kind of curious here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab Surface Action Group 9 and unload all their cargo they brought supplies up from guadalcanal i was a little bit reluctant to take the supplies from guadalcanal because we are trying to build up that airfield it's at a level four right now so we don't have that far to go to a level five so i didn't really want to bring the supplies from guadalcanal but it looks like the troops on florida islands are having some difficulty taking Florida Islands. It might have to do with the uh, deficit of troops to supplies or supplies to troops. So I'm going to shuttle supplies back and forth with Surface Action Group 9 until uh, the supplies match the troops, and then I'll move them all back. Uh, we're a little bit out from getting a resupply on our provisions, troops, supplies, engineering, and fuel here in New Hebrides. Uh, last couple episodes, we dealt with two Japanese battleships and sunk them. And over, I think I want to say, three episodes or so, we sunk two of the Japanese aircraft carriers. Something I want to do real quick is head into this and check and see. I think they've got light carriers that are still available. But as far as their main carriers go, yeah, they've still got one light carrier left. Uh, battleships, they've got two of the Congos. Two of the Fusos. Two of the Ices. There's the uh, Nagatos we sunk, and the Yamatos. They still have uh, both of the Yamatos, so they are well off in terms of battleships, but their carrier force is dwindling probably down to nothing. So, uh, air patrols, they are either heading out or heading back. Uh, some of them are heading out, some of them are heading back. Uh, this guy... I had him circling around the carrier that was up here so we can give him a more productive search route. I think all of our ships we have heading into the area. I've got the battleship Massachusetts escorted by a cruiser. They are going up to join with Surface Action Group 10. In patrol in this area. We've got the Tar Heel Strike Group that is heading over into this area. I'm going to pull them down a little further south just to keep them outside the range of uh, the Japanese air patrols. Get a little risky there and send them up to uh, that's about as far north as I want them. And then we've got the Crimson Tide Battle Group heading over to Rearm. We've got the Enterprise here. Have them keep patrolling in this area. They did lose quite a lot of Dauntlesses in that attack on the carrier in the last episode, so probably going to have to send them back at some point. They've got no Dauntlesses. Yeah, it might be time to 
send Enterprise back to uh, rearm. We've got the Wasp up here. Wasp has a fairly full complement, so I think I'm going to send Wasp down into this area. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll send them this way. Kind of have them patrol out in here. And we do have the Lexington that is heading up. So once Lexington gets into the area, we can pull the Wasp back up to patrol up in here. Enterprise should be rearmed by then, as well as the Crimson Tide Battle Group. So let's hit play and see what the afternoon of September 2nd, 1942 brings. All right, our Kingfisher has an encounter. We want to get our Wildcats up to deal with that. If we have any Wildcats, well, they can't. Hmm. Send them back right now. And deal with this. It's going to be one of those start and run away situations as fast as we can. Because we don't want our poor Kingfisher getting shot down, do we? Oh shit. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that the uh, surface group wouldn't get pulled into this. Let's select everybody. And have them start laying smoke. Turn our radar on. Although we already sighted the... Alright. Wonder who they're going for. Strangely enough, not the Enterprise. I don't think those were torpedo bombers. I think, yep, just zeros. Let's get some of them down at least. Ouch. Ouch. Damn it. <laughs> All right, I think they hit the uh our two cruisers here. Let's have everyone just come to a stop. Now we got damage to deal with, so... We can turn the smoke off for now. Looks like the uh, threat is gone. Denver has some fires to deal with. Get those fixed first.
Continuing on. Kingfisher has an encounter. I kind of get the impression they got their, uh... Light carrier out somewhere. Let's check this real quick. Make sure we don't have any of our ships in the area before we leave. Enterprise ready to launch aircraft. Okay. Uh, let's get the Wildcats up. And have them patrol... Patrol above the Tar Heel Strike Group. Okay, Enterprise ready to launch. I don't think. Yeah, we used up all our uh, all our Avengers here. Let's get these uh, subs, make sure they've got continuous patrol patterns set up. Want to try and catch anything that's coming out of here. Although we haven't really, uh, haven't really done anything with that. I've been thinking about sending one of these guys directly into this area here, but I don't know if I really want to deal with the uh, constant air attacks on a sub. Over and over and over again. We'll get them patrolling. We do have another sub somewhere. Uh, I think they're heading up. Yeah, there we go. Right here. Triton's heading up. And we do have 60 command points available, so we can do something. Uh, here we go, Kingfisher has an encounter with zeros, and that should pull the Wildcats in. Unfortunately, it also pulled in our battle group. So, select everybody. Play smoke. Turn your radar on. Let's get those wildcats back towards our battle group as fast as you can go. Maybe we can just up and leave, because they have a tendency to spawn right on top of us. So, there they are, right there. Yeah, let's have them start turning to the north. See what we can see from the uh, little rock. Probably nothing much because of the smoke. Yeah. And they're out there somewhere. I don't think our wildcats are going to get back in time either. Maybe we'll smoke them out so they can't see. I definitely think they have uh, their one remaining carrier in the area. It's a lot of smoke. Can't even tell who they're going after. It's 
like they might be making a move on the warden here. Yep. Warden, possibly the Denver. Uh, we got another flight coming in. They're moving in on the Fletcher. And Warden once again. Alright, I guess that could have been a lot worse. Okay, check the damages. Nobody's on fire, so that's a good thing. See if they come back. I don't think the AI ever comes back for a second pass. Looks like they're leaving. Meanwhile, our Wildcats are uh, kind of making their way. But they are 31,000 yards out, so... Shut the smoke off here. All right, let's get those damages repaired before we exit out. Warden's got a lot. No fires, though, so that's a good thing. There's our wildcats. They're all, there they go, chasing after them. just about fixed up. Fletcher is good to go. No damage. Alright. Here we go. Uh, Kingfisher has another encounter. This one may actually pull in the Tar Heel Strike group. And we have our Wildcats and our Surface group. Luckily our Wildcats are patrolling, are actually spawned right above the, uh, the Tar Heel Strike group, so... So we're just going to have them patrol around them. Let's make sure they stay around them. Wildcats. It's like we may have ourselves a good old fashioned dog fight. Keep them on a little tighter patrol pattern. Alright, select everybody. Smoke, radar, begin.
All right, there's the zeros there. Our wildcats are heading out. Stationary targets are uh, going to be pretty easy for them. That's a lot of zeros out there. Wonder how many wildcats we're about to lose. one happened to be the one I was watching too so come on wildcats do your thing We've lost one wildcat, down two of the zeros. There's our dog fights out there. I don't think any of the uh, zeros have moved in on us. White Vonitor, or Winter Vonitor, how you doing, buddy? Two Wildcats we've lost so far. Oh, Grand Tactician, yeah, they bumped up the AI a little bit, didn't they? I haven't played that game since they uh, they updated it. How good is it? They actually kind of competent on the battlefield now? It's like we got just about everybody. Any more zeros left? How many did we lose? We only lost two wildcats, so that's a good thing. 12 out of 12. There we go. Wonder if a uh, wasp can uh, reach the Enterprise. I don't remember how to uh, do the. How far out are they from the Enterprise? There's a, a way you can, uh, yeah, they're still pretty far out.
We can have him head that way, though. Uh, AI doesn't cross rivers. Yeah, when I was reading that, they said something about um, the AI will actually bombard your position until their main force shows up. So, oh, hold up. What do we have here? Four destroyers heading for the... subgroups here. Alright, let's see what we can do. What do we have? We don't have much in the Enterprise battle group here. How far out are they? 323. And we'll send them up like this. See if we can get our uh, torpedo 363 up. Change them to rockets. Oh, plenty, 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 plenty. And we'll send them up to deal with them. Got to get some uh, kingfishers up. Alright. Yeah, I'm probably going to be uh, streaming Grand Tactician tomorrow morning I've still got a uh, I think uh, I want to say two or three episodes from last weekend's stream to put up on YouTube but I am going to stream to more, more tomorrow and check out the uh, new update yeah they are heading north See if our uh, torpedo bombers can get them in time. Let's get this uh, Kingfisher a little better situated here. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's... That is not... One battleship. Oh, okay. So we know where our subs are going. Both of them. But for now... Let's attack a battleship with some uh, rockets. And there she is. What else do we have in the area? We have the Tautog already in the area. At 59,000 yards. So we are going to bump her speed up. Send her up in that general direction. Get our Avengers down to attack altitude I highly doubt these rockets are going to do anything to this battleship but we're here oops And I may just rush Tata again there to finish her off. See what we're up against. That would be another Congo.
what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? This battleship's going to laugh at us. Here comes the flak. one group in lost one Avenger somehow all right second group now we got some fires started Two Avengers, three Avengers. Looks like she's turning to uh, intercept our down pilots. We got one more attack coming in. And the Tautog. 56,000 yards. And it looks like she might be turning away, so... I don't think Tautog's going to get in on this one. Maybe the next one. See what kind of damage we can do here. Magazine explosion would be nice. Yeah, she is turning away from the Tautog, so... Moderate damage and moderate flooding. Oh, nice. That's uh, kind of surprising given the rockets. If I'd known there was a battleship up in the area, I would have come with torpedoes. I think having 12 torpedoes put into a uh, single Congo would have been enough to get her done, even with the duds. All right, Tautog. I don't really think I want to wait for this. Let her burn for a little bit. Maybe Tautog can uh, close the distance to where I'm kind of satisfied and making an attack, although it does look like she's turning and running, so... Moderate damage, minor flooding, so she's getting her damage under control. Alright, Tautog, you're going to have to... Let's see, Tautog, what do you have for torpedoes? 14? Eh. I guess that's good enough for... Uh... Good enough for a single attack. Uh, let's get a scout up, head up in that area. See if we can't catch anything that comes down, preferably that battleship. Um, Enterprise, once again. I'll take a battleship as opposed to uh, four destroyers that are heading away and any day of the week. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our Operation Watchtower playthrough on War on the Sea. Uh, kind of surprised at the 
effectiveness of the rockets against that battleship. Hopefully we did enough damage to uh, send her back. I mean, we saw the Yamato and the Musashi early in the campaign damage them, and we haven't seen them since. Now, as you can see, I am moving my subs up a little closer to Rabal. Uh, we are in a good position to intercept anything that might be coming out. But that'll be in a future episode. So if you like the episode, hit that like button. If you would like to follow along through the rest of the campaign and if you have not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. Wouldn't mind having you come along with us. And as always, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good night.